So, Professor Tanaka. Yes. The 2015 is almost finished. Yes. What do you think that uh, in 2015 happened in your scientific field of interest that make a very important breakthrough? Yes, there are many things were reported, but for me the best uh, attractive thing was IVA, in vitro activation. Wow. So at first this technique was developed to treat the patient suffering from uh, uh, premature ovarian failure or premature ovarian insufficiency. Yeah. They have very, very low probability to be conceived. So uh, Dr. Kamura, Japanese, developed a new technique to remove the ovary and cut into pieces and uh, use uh, two kinds of uh, medicine to stimulate the gene to make the sleeping primordial germ cells to develop to follicle, antero follicles, and also release the gene which stop the maturation. So both two medications was successful, was successful, and uh, four or five babies are born using this method. So so far. The success rate is very low, so I think it's uh, premature to draw a final conclusion, but I think it's very promising. And now we are planning to go uh, operate with him to a new uh, technique. It's a breakthrough, I think, in next year. Very good. And this is very important because, uh, unfortunately, we are facing every day always more patients with uh, insufficient ovarian reserve uh, for different for different reasons for the increase of the age of uh, the patients to to um, obtain the first pregnancy and so on and do you think that this technique also would be important in 2016 or in uh, there will be other field of research in 2016 yes i think i'm expecting so, POI patients, very, very small, small number. So we uh, apply this technique to the patient. To every patient? Wider, to make a wider range. So there are many things. In Japan, the average uh, age of the patient who re receives the treatment is 39, over 40. So they have one or two follicles every cycle, yeah. but the uh, corrected ulcer's maturity was very low. So in such case, we use this technique, but we don't use any medication. Remove the part of the part of tissue the and make it cut into pieces. So cut the surface of uh, oral cortex. It's uh, stop the hypersignal. Hypersignal stop the maturation of uh, primordial germ cell to become into uh, anter uh, follicles. So if we took, remove the some part of ovary and cut it pieces and uh, made you uh, culture in medium for several hours and return to the normal place. So maybe in or two months later, these follicle tissues, um, ovarian cortex tissues will Response to the ground turf. Very well, good. I think it's very, very, I think very, very interesting. Promising and interesting. Okay, thank you, Professor Tanaka.